Hello everyone, in today's episode we are going to look into what is Pandas and how to install it. Pandas has become a buzzword in Python community nowadays. Especially it is very popular in data science community. Now what is data science? Data science or data analytics is a process of analyzing large set of data points and to get answers on questions related to that data set. And Pandas is a Python module that makes data science extremely easy and effective. Now, let's look at the real life example to understand what I mean by that. I have this Excel file which contains uh, data on New York City's weather in the month of January. I downloaded this CSV from internet from a weather website and you can see that it has information such as the temperature on each of these dates, the wind speed, the events, whether it rained or snowed, etc. And when you're looking at this kind of data set, you might have questions such as what was the maximum temperature in the month of January? On which days did it rain? What was an average speed of wind during the month? Now, one obvious tool that you can use to get these answers is Excel itself. So in Excel, if I use this filter, I can easily know on which days it rained, 9, 10, 16, and 27. But the problem with Excel is that when your data size grows beyond some point, for example, if you are dealing with uh, millions and billions of data points, then it becomes harder to do data analysis in Excel because it becomes slow, first of all, and it doesn't have necessary features or functionality that you will need while dealing the data at the size of data at that scale. So then your next choice for doing data analysis will be Python. So I have this Python program uh, which I wrote to parse that same CSV file. So you can see that I'm using C CSV module to parse this CSV and once it is parsed I have written three different functions to get the answers on my questions. And when I run this program it will get me those answers. It's saying that maximum temperature is 50 and I have answers on other questions also. But I have to spend quite a lot of time to write this code. And also, it's uh, it's not very convenient, basically. You have to test it. it. It might have bug and so on. And whenever you want to do some different kind, other kind of analytics, you have to again write your code. And you can see it's like 72 line of code. With Pandas framework, we, we can do the same thing. Uh, pretty easily and by writing only few lines of code. Now I'm going to do the same thing using Pandas. So here I have a, a Jupyter notebook and I'm going to import Pandas as PD. So PD here is my Pandas module. Then I'm reading this CSV file here and it is returning me the data frame object. Data frame object is at the core of Pandas. Okay. And if you print data frame, you will see it sort of looks like a table with rows and columns. Okay. Now to get the answer on my first question, which was, what is the maximum temperature? Okay. So to do that, you will just call max and you will get an answer. So you can see it is 50. To know on which days it rained, you can do DF EST. Now EST here, as you see, is the date column. So first of all, you want to retrieve dates, the dates on which it rained. So now the second condition is, give me all the dates when the events was rain. Okay. When you execute it, you, you get the answer that it rained on 9, 10, 16 and 27. So pretty easy, only one line. 
the third question that we had was what is my average wind speed okay and when you do mean you get the answer now let's compare these answers with our python program so if i compare these answers here temperature was 15 9 10 16 27 so 50 this is good but you'll see that this answer is different 6.89 and 6.22 this is happening because if you look at our data the wind speed on certain days was na now this happened because our excel file had some missing data points you can see that on these days it has a blank uh, blank data basically it doesn't have any data so we got data in little bit messy format it, this wasn't very clean okay so uh, the process of cleaning the data is called data munging or data wrangling basically whenever you are scrapping data or doing data analytics uh, you have to properly polish it or kind of make it ready for your next step and that process is called data munging or data wrangling uh, it's funny that when i was doing what is data munging uh, a google search i found this answer and i found it pretty interesting so there is this guy called nisan niraj he posted uh, this picture saying that uh, your raw data looks like this see how messy it is okay and after you do data munging it will look like this so now it is ready to be processed so this is a nice way to explain uh, what is data munging but python allows you to do data munging quite easily so here the problem is i have this na values and pi in in python pandas you have this method called uh, fill na so what you want to do is whenever i see na for my wind speed i want to fill that with uh, zero value so i will do this here and then you have to do in place equal to true to change the same data frame and when you execute this you will get 6.22 which is same as this answer okay so that was a little introduction on just a simple uh, demo on showing the pandas capabilities now pandas can do much more than this if you look at the pandas documentation you will find a rich set of functionality that you cannot you cannot find anywhere else in any other libraries okay so it's extremely powerful but this was just to kind of give you an ideas on what is pandas and what it can do and so on okay now the second uh, part is how do you install it so pandas comes with anaconda distribution i have a separate video on how to install anaconda so once you install anaconda you will automatically get pandas for free if you don't want to do that then you can simply run uh, pip install pandas command so if you just run something like pip install pandas on your command prompt and if you have pip install then uh, you will get a pandas module and once you have pandas module uh, you can go to your idle shell and just type in import pandas just yeah just import pandas and if that works it means that you have now panda installed okay so that was all that i had for this tutorial uh, i have an exciting uh, panda series coming in so uh, stay tuned and we will have uh, quite a bit of interesting uh, tutorials on pandas itself all right thank you very much for watching and if you like this tutorial give me a thumbs up share and comment below